Hey goat! <laughs> We had some early morning sprinkles here this morning, so we're gonna check the sieves quick, make sure everything is looking good and feeding through the machine, all right? A year ago, in 2017, the Minnesota Vikings scored a touchdown against Chicago, Keenum to Rudolph. They celebrated in the end zone by playing a game called Duck, duck, goose. Of course, Adam Thielen, being the good person that he is, immediately corrected them and let them know that it's actually duck, duck, gray duck. In Minnesota, that's what we play because it's just a far superior game. Now that sparked kind of a crazy debate about duck, duck, goose versus duck, duck, gray duck. We've all heard of gray goose vodka. Now there's gray duck vodka. And the crazy thing is, gray duck vodka is made from Minnesota corn. This corn right here, the Minnesota Millennial Farmer's corn, and the owner of gray duck vodka is none other than the 11-year veteran linebacker for the Minnesota Vikings, Chad Greenway. Chad is coming here to check out our family farm. Now Chad is no stranger to farming. He actually grew up on a farm just down the road from here in South Dakota. He's still actively involved on that farm with the rest of his family. So this is not gonna be a new thing to him. He knows all about farming, but he's gonna come out and see what's going on on our Minnesota family farm right here to take a look at us harvesting the actual corn that's gonna be used to make his vodka. What do you, what do you adjust the speed back to on that? Unloading. When we're unloading? Yeah. about four to four and a half with that 12 row head in good corn it comes pretty bad. four to four two four three is about as fast as you can go Stop, huh? yeah it's pretty nice in there yeah, I can, yeah I can see it. I can nice to meet you yeah. Thanks for Thanks for oh yeah yeah he shows around a little bit shows the dryer and the whole vent operation over there with the, on the, on the uh, farmhouse on the house site okay yeah, yeah. how's it looking out there yeah it looks good it's yeah. pretty nice field here yeah the corn's running real good Excellent. And some fields are a little better than others this year with the weather. He was just bragging that it was his field, that's why it was so good. Yeah, that must that's be what it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He probably put a fertilizer on this piece. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. doesn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for letting us uh, bombard you for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Take yeah. around with No you. problem, yeah. Let's see if I can wrap this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I got Chad Greenway watching for my cap corn. <laughs> see, that's the thing I do is I spill a lot of corn. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to make it to the end. And I can see, I see the turn here. I so can guys, see on the weight that we are really full. Check the image. See the, Jim, check the mirror. See what we got. There we are. Jim wasn't yelling at us, so it kept going. Great tank full. <laughs> it's a big cart. I won't miss that. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I have a couple times. That is a big cart there. What made you start Grey Duck Vodka? Where does that come from? Grey Duck's obviously a Minnesota thing, and and um, this whole Duck Duck Grey Duck kids game and Duck Duck Goose, this argument from really from last year's touchdown celebration of the Vikings game yep. against the Bears over at Soldier Field. Uh, when Rudy did that and the guys did that, it was just sort of sparked this controversy. So it's something that was really Minnesota. Right. And and now we've gotten into it, we've kicked it off. Now we've been selling for about three and a half months. Um, really just spreading all through Minnesota. Just launched in South Dakota last week. Um, going to launch in North Dakota in a couple weeks. Uh, we've seen that people are really getting behind the, the idea that this is a Minnesota product. And one of the reasons we want to come out here today is the connection to, that our um, distillery in Benson is connected right to farmers like you with the co-op. Yep. Where you guys are selling your corn and, and our product is made with 100% Minnesota corn. Right. And this corn right here. This corn right here, which you'll, you guys will take in. We'll get, we'll, we'll make our great up vodka and, and make it clean and make it pure and and make it really give it the distinct flavor that you're gonna you're gonna taste when you taste it. It really kind of separates it from other vodkas you're gonna taste. And and we've seen and heard from pretty much all Minnesotans and now South Dakotans that they want to drink something where they know where it's coming from, they know where they're getting it from, and it's local. And that's right. all the things we're talking about here today. So, 
everybody out there, if you want to help increase the cost of corn and increase the market value for corn for me, if you want to support my channel, you got to yes. drink Grey Duck Vodka. Yeah, drink That's Grey really Duck what this vodka. boils down to. Drink it early and often. So this is brought to you by Precision Technology, otherwise you won't be able to do this without... That's uh, right. <laughs> brought to you by John Deere Auto Steer. Yeah, John Deere yeah. Auto Steer, there you go. I don't even have to steer with my knee while I'm reading this. <laughs> Grew up on a farm. Yep. You had cows, yep. hogs. Yep. All kinds of land. We did. How do you attribute growing up on the farm with with the work ethic that you were able to bring to football? Yeah, I mean it's it's no question it was a huge advantage for me. I mean, you know when you grow up and you're you're loading pigs before school, you're you're up early, um, whether you're fixing fence in the summer or you're you're moving cattle or you're cabin in the winter or early spring. You're, you're jumping off a of football practice and coming out and running the wagons for dad when he's combining. Um, just really on and on, the list goes on and on. The things that I was able to attribute to my football success when I when I left Mount Vernon, you know, population 400, played nine man football. I mean, it's, it's, it's small town rural America as it gets. And, and I got a chance to go play at Iowa. And all I did to go to college was I, I went to school and I played football. Didn't have all this other work to do. I said, man, is this easy? Sure. Because all the all the extra work I would put in was on the farm. It would come home and, and help mom and dad, or or go do this or go do that. And um, that ability to go take this idea, to, like a farmer like yourself, and, and, and everything, all my success comes down to how much work do I want to put in, how much time do I want to put in, um, to what degree do I want my farm to succeed, comes down to uh, how hard I want to work. Yeah. And sort of that that blind faith that I'm going to work as hard as I can, and I'm hoping that this when I, when I sow this seed, yep. the rain's going to come, and we're going to get a good yield and, and good production. And and, um, and in football, it just in sports, it just it, it worked the same way. So I, I um, put all this work in, and I just knew that day after day after day, I had to be the same guy and be consistent and be that person people could count on, much like my parents to their farm and my parents to each other as they farm together. And that was just something to just observe and watch and really gave me a huge advantage over everybody else. Do you remember where you were when Gary missed that? I, I, oh, 100% do. Yeah, 98. See, um, the people that grew up playing Duck Duck Grey Duck know exactly what I'm yeah. talking about. Oh, yeah. Well, I got a brother-in-law who's a big Packers fan. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make that's sure that all we have at Thanksgiving <laughs> oh, is yeah. Grey Duck Vodka. Got to have it. Yeah, as many purple things you can have that's on the table right. as you can think. So how do you make that mistake? You grew up in Wisconsin? She comes from a messed up family. <laughs> Finally, I didn't think he was ever going to leave. In all seriousness, guys, how cool is it that a Minnesota Viking is producing a vodka called Grey Duck Vodka out of our corn here in Minnesota? I think it's pretty cool. On to the next thing. Now the chat is gone. I've actually got this micronutrient and fungicide plot to take out this afternoon. We've got the rep from uh, Nutrien or CPS coming out here going to go through this with me. He's going to watch us harvest it. We're going to take that data onto our field view here, separate it out, and take a look and see what we've got. No cars, no cars, no cars, no cars. Made it. Well, we didn't quite get that whole test plot out. What happened was we started running real short of room in our wet tank. The dryer's not quite keeping up the way we want it to. So we actually got two rounds left of that test plot right now, and I was running short of fuel anyway. So I brought the machine home. I got fuel pumping in it right now. By the time I get fuel in it and get back to the field, we should have enough room left to finish the two rounds on that plot. And then after we get that done, we'll make sure we get everything caught up again. Then we'll buzz home because we're only two miles away from here. And I'll do some uh, pumpkin carving with the kids. Get ready for Halloween. We'll keep that dryer running all night long again. So I picked up a passenger for the rest of the evening. I also picked up my brand new hat. What do you guys think of that? I think that's awesome. You guys realize that this is a white farm equipment hat? It's the coolest hat a guy could have. Isla, are you sleepy? Like watching it go down, Isla? Good to go, you're full. All right, so here you can see on my field view the way I broke down these 
different products into different hybrids and what it did for us gave us the average you want to see okay you can see just look over at what I'm pointing at okay it gave us the average bushels to the acre yield right here this is our 19766 channel this is what the rest of the field is the rest of these are all different products that we have tested so here you can see so far there's a seven bushel advantage over the rest of the field using that product there's a five bushel advantage here and six bushel advantages on all of these you can see the moisture difference here because sometimes fungicides will bring up the moisture um, which it looks like in most of them it did do that other than on the radiate product here and there's our acres that we took out of those different products so that's one more thing that field view is just so handy for the fact that I programmed those in there when I was planting and didn't have to mess with it at all while I harvested it it was all right there and now I've got this data with me anywhere I go as long as I have my iPad I can open that up and look at it at any time it's an early day Isla are you ready to go home and carve some pumpkins Yeah. does that sound fun are you gonna carve a big one or a little one a big one a big one <laughs> I'll help you give me five yeah by the way those are fantastic yields for us not just for this year but in general this is our top producing field so far this year this field has a lot of drain tile under it which really helps it out a lot especially considering it missed a lot of that really heavy June rain that we got um, I think it just kind of got lucky it just fell the way it fell and that's the reason we're seeing the big yields on this field not to mention that awesome channel seed only a mile or two from home we had the andros off yesterday so that's really sped things up caught up to the wet tank we're gonna let that go that'll be going at all hours of the night so we'll have to be babysitting that now it's time to go carve some pumpkins maybe try some gray duck vodka while i'm at it what do you think yours has an eyeball coming out of it and a booger nose yeah isla which one's yours mm. that one right there yep that one's got a warty face and kind of a goofy nose huh and onyx onyx got his done it's pretty awesome but then he just ran away to go play fortnite also his his uh pumpkin's name is jeff duck duck goose what is that <laughs>